Hey everyone, this is Castaway Camping. Welcome back for another episode. In this one, we hit the remote and beautiful west coast of Cape York. This was a truly unexpected gem and a massive highlight on our Cape trip. So if you're thinking of doing something a little bit different with your trip to the tip and you can't quite figure out if it's worth it to stray from the beaten path and go all the way out to the west coast, then this one's for you. All right, so here we are on our final morning at Chili Beach. We've just packed up camp. Everything's locked and loaded onto the roof and today we're setting off for the west coast. We're going east coast to west coast today. Our plan was to watch the sunrise down the beach at Chile and then watch the sun set over the Gulf of Carpentaria from a camp near Weeper. But it looks like yesterday was the last of the good weather at Chile. It's taken a turn for the worse this morning. We'll show you what the sunrise actually looks like. Cloudy, but not actually as bad as I expected. We didn't have too much time to stay and admire it though, because we had places to be. The drive across from Chili Beach to Weeper took us about four to four and a half hours. Most of that was actually the stretch between Chili Beach and the PDR itself. But once you hit the PDR, blacktop. The dirt road to follow was some of the smoothest on the trip as well. Our first glimpse of the Gulf of Carpentaria. We made it to the west coast. Now the first thing that probably comes to your mind when you think Weeper is mining town. And yep, that it is. But the country and waters that surround it are incredible. So that's what we were here for. But Weeper is also a really well equipped and friendly town. There's a Woolworths, there's a Tackle World, so we took the opportunity to stock up on some groceries, some bait and some tackle. And then it was time to hit the beach. Beach time. Oh, I broke my stick. As soon as we arrived, it wasn't hard to see why this place was special. It's the golf. About to watch the sunset go over the water. It's incredibly beautiful here. I'm gonna go for a quick little fish. Some fish chopping on this little rock bar here, at the mouth of the creek. See if I can get anything to bite. And by that I don't mean a crocodile. There were fish busting up literally everywhere and I did not know where to cast first. I honestly couldn't believe I hadn't hooked up until Heartbreak. Pulled the hooks. Oh! Matty! Luckily, it wasn't too long until I hooked up again.
First ever golf sunset, first ever golf barra. Things really couldn't get any better. Definitely one to remember. Here we go. Keep going. We may not have been here long, but um, I reckon I'm going to call it. At this point, this is the number one campsite I think I've ever pulled up at. The view is incredible and we'll show that in a heap of the drone shots. I just wandered down off our campsite to a little rock bar and caught a barra. I lost another one as well. I feel a million miles from home right now and Maddie does too. And yeah, I don't think I can top this. Breakfast. First thing we've caught on the, on the dead bait that's not a catfish, so I'm really happy about that. That's a perfect size to eat. For the morning of day two, we treated ourselves to smoked fish and eggs on toast and got a few housekeeping jobs done. Got to keep yourself looking good. After catching this queen fish on the hand line over breakfast, it was time to fillet it, bag it up and get it in the cold. If you're short of a filleting table, crab pots make a pretty good substitute. We set off down the coast to go exploring. We were hoping the sun would come out so that we could take some drone shots of the epic inshore reefs. Got really lucky. The sun burnt away the morning clouds and we got the shots we came for. The inshore reefs here were made up of tall stands of seaweed. It was kind of like the tropical version of a kelp forest. I couldn't believe it, but that afternoon I caught another barra at sunset. I wasn't filming though, so you'll just have to believe me from this photo. So we've come to the end of a second day here on the west coast. It is treating us so well, it's so good, we're having a great time. I caught another barra this afternoon off the camp, which I just, I can't get over the fact that I walk 20 meters down the beach and catch a barra. It's awesome. Second day of watching the sun over the Gulf Carpentaria. Absolutely beautiful. We got Lenny out on the beach today, took some drone shots, had a great time, and just laid back really, didn't do too much. We're gonna do up the queen fish that I caught this morning tonight. Both of the barra that I've caught were undersized, so they both got uh, they both got put back. The queen fish on the other hand was perfect eating size, so we're gonna do that up with the skin on tonight. We're gonna salt the skin up and make it nice and crispy. And we're doing up some veggies, like some broccoli, some carrots and we're doing some jacket potatoes, so really getting our veggie fix. We've had a lot of quick meals on the fly recently, but this one's gonna be a proper one. For those who like their fish with a bit more flavor, queenfish are great done with the skin on. Just salt the skin well, and place it face down on high heat in olive oil. Once your skin's crispy, the other side of the fish only needs about 30 seconds. We got some jacket potatoes going for sides too. Pretty hard to beat crispy skin fish caught that morning. Well, I'm very upset, spaghetti, to be packing up, but we're packing up. 
We're heading off to the old telegraph track today. A uh, fair bit of a drive from where we are here at the moment on the west coast. But the road's gonna be pretty good on the way in, I think. Should be manageable. We're just getting packed up early and heading off. And I'm gonna have one little last flick down at my rock bar for a barra because I can hear them at the moment. They're still there and it'd drive me mad if I didn't catch one more, I think. amount of bait getting chased here was insane. Watch the top of screen in this next clip. In this clip, you can see I get three swipes from what looks to be a trevally. It's pretty cool to watch back because I never felt the bite on the end of the rod. I guess this was the consolation prize. Bloody. Oh, they're also the spikiest fish in the sea. But if you roll them over on their back, they become a lot easier to deal with. Anyone who's dealt with flathead before knows what I'm about to go through. I kind of knew it too, but I still couldn't avoid it. How to get it? Ah! Ah! Uh. See that is why you got to be very careful handling flathead. But at the end of a great stay in a magical place, I guess you win some, you lose some. Just textbook flathead bullshit. 